Welcome to Digital Billy. Photoshop Elements is packed full of features. In this video, we will look at Adobe Photoshop Elements basic section in the guided mode. We will cover all 11 of these basics features, which are Brightness and Contrast Correct Skin Tone Crop Photo Levels Lighten and Darken Move and Scale Object Object Removal Resize your photo Rotate and straighten Sharpen and Vignette Effect To jump straight to a specific feature, see the timeline in the description below. Please hit like and subscribe, that helps a lot. Let's get started. Guided Mode Basic Section Brightness and Contrast You can simply click on Auto Fix and you can see the results here. There is also the brightness slider, and the contrast slider, to make your own adjustments. Click Next, and then click on Continue Editing, in Expert button. And you will see here, the changes were made on the same, original layer, which makes it unchangeable. Next is Guided Basics Correct Skin Tone Skin tone adjustments can be used to remove a color cast from a person's skin, or give them a tan. Click on a person's skin in your photo using the Skin Tone Picker. The photo will be adjusted based on this point. So here this woman's skin is overly red. Click on Skin Tone Selection and then click on the skin area in the photo. Next, use the sliders to further refine the colors. There are the tan, blush, and light sliders. This result looks more natural. Click Next, click Edit in Expert, and note that the changes were made on only one layer. Next is, Guiding. Basics. Crop Photo. A crop box has been drawn on your photo using the Crop Tool. Resize the box to crop your photo to the desired size. With crop size, you have these options shown here. With crop size, you have these options shown here. Next we have Guided, Basics, Levels. 1. Click Create Levels Adjustment to open the Levels dialog box. 2. To ensure that your image uses the full range of tonal values, drag the black slider to the right so that it is just below the leftmost point of the graph. 
Then drag the white slider to the left so that it is just below the rightmost point of the graph. 3. If your photo is too dark or too light, drag the middle, gray, slider to adjust the brightness. A new layer window pops up, and here is the Photoshop Levels window that you adjust as necessary. For comparison, a second levels layer is created. Then click the next arrow and then select edit in expert mode. And here you can see the two new levels layers on top of the original image, which allows you to go back and edit each levels layer or turn a layer off. Next is the Guided, Basics, Lighten and Darken feature. Click Auto to apply a general fix to the photo's exposure. Drag these sliders to manually balance the shadows and bright spots. Shadows, Highlights and Midtone sliders. Now in expert mode, note that the adjustments are not on a second layer, and therefore, are not reversible. Next we have, Guided, Basics, Move and Scale Object feature. Easily select an object and change its position, size, and more. 1. Use one of the selection tools to choose the object you want to move or duplicate. With the Auto tool, click and drag a rectangle around the object. Use Add, Subtract mode to refine the selection. 2. Click the Move or Duplicate button and drag the selected object to desired position. Drag the corners to scale the selected object. I can't figure out why this button is gray and won't work. Then I finally noticed that I am not clicking on the green checkmark first to finish the auto selection tool task. Three, optional, fix any small remaining spots using the spot healing brush. For best results, Keep the brush size as small as possible. Repair larger spots using the clone stamp tool. Option click to select the part of the image you want to copy. This clone stamp tool is also in the full version of Photoshop and it is one of the most useful tools you can ever use with digital image editing, it's worth getting familiar with. This result looks pretty good right here. 
Of course there are some areas that do not look completely convincing, and to make this edited image look completely real, you would then need to spend more time in expert mode going over the details around the cutout image. As you see here with the top layer, all of the editing we did was mashed onto the original image and put into one layer, which unfortunately cannot have any of the prior editing adjusted. If we were to have created this image in expert mode or in regular Photoshop, we could put our changes onto separate layers, and then have full editing control on all of the changes. The next feature is object removal. Make unwanted objects vanish. 1. Use one of the selection tools to choose the object you want to remove. You have the brush, lasso, auto, and quick selection tools to choose from. I use the auto tool, which states to click and drag a rectangle around the object. Then when the click is released, it automatically creates a selection around the right elephant. This is such an awesome feature of Photoshop. Use Add and Subtract mode to refine selection. 2. Click the Remove Object button to remove the selected object. 3. Optional, fix any small remaining spots using the Spot Healing Brush. For best results, keep the brush size as small as possible. Repair larger spots using the Clone Stamp tool. Option Click to select the part of the image you want to copy. Then click Next, then Continue Editing in Expert Mode, and then note how the revisions are mashed together with the original image on one layer. Next. Guided, Basics, Resize Your Photo. Easily resize your photo for printing or posting for the web. 1. Select an output option, web or print. 2. Select a size option, where you have these preset options, long edge, short edge, width and height, or file size. Then you enter the amount. Under print options, you have long edge, short edge, width and height, and these common measurements. You have to do your own trial and error here to see what the different settings result in, such as how shrink to fit operates. When you go to image, resize, image size, you will see that the image size changes are also reflected here, and can be adjusted here as well. Next is Rotate and Straighten. Easily level out the horizon of your photo. Click an icon below to rotate the image left or right. To straighten a photo, click the Straighten tool below, then draw a line on your photo. The image will rotate to the angle of the line. When rotating or straightening, you can select from the following. Maintain image size, canvas may be resized to fit the full image. Maintain canvas size, image may be cropped to fit within canvas. And auto fill edges, fill the edges after straightening the image.
Next is Sharpen. Make your photo crisp and crystal clear. Click Auto Fix to apply an overall sharpening effect. Use the slider below to manually apply sharpening. And finally, the vignette effect. 1. Select vignette. Click on black or white to add vignette to your image. This will highlight subject in your image. Use this intensity slider. Two, optional, click to access sliders to make changes to the applied effect. Note here how the vignette is on a separate layer and the levels adjustments are also on a separate layer, and the original image is untouched on its own lower level. This allows you to have full control over editing this effect. These 11 tools in basics mode are great quick methods to easily edit your images. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please hit like and subscribe, that helps a lot. And thank you for watching.